Jordan Cups in middle school. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Srihas. Welcome to the AMS TV News for the week of March 11th. Let's check out this week's positive me message. Hi, I'm Jack. This week's positive message is by Winston Churchill. An extra yawn one morning in the springtime, an extra snooze one night in the autumn is all that we ask in return for dazzling gifts. We borrow an hour one night in April. We pay it back with golden interest five months later. Thanks. This past weekend, we turned the clocks ahead one hour, putting us into daylight saving time. Let's learn more about this. Daylight savings time was first introduced in 1916 during World War I in Germany to save energy. The United States adopted it in 1918. So it really started as a wartime measure and was stopped the following year. Daylight savings time was put into practice again in 1942 during World War II. For several years after that, some states switched between standard time and daylight savings time. It became very confusing, so Congress passed the Uniform Time Act in 1966, which made the start and end times for these changes the same for all states. However, Arizona and Hawaii decided to opt out, and they keep standard time year-round. Today, there are many who feel we should choose just one time option and stick with it. The controversy continues, but as of now, we will continue to change our clocks twice a year. Thanks. This coming Sunday is St. Patrick's Day. Let's learn more about this holiday. Hi, I'm Ivy, and I'm here to teach you a little bit about St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is a day to commemorate St. Patrick the patron saint of Ireland. St. Patrick was a bishop in Ireland back in the 5th century. Most of what is known about Patrick is in his own writing. St. Patrick was taken from his homeland of England by Irish raiders and brought to Ireland. Even so, he ended up helping Ireland. He taught the people about the sacred symbol of Christian faith, the Holy Trinity, by showing them a shamrock. There is also a legend that he drove the snakes out of Ireland by chasing them into the sea, therefore saving the people. In reality, there are no snakes in Ireland because the climate in Ireland is too cold for them. The people thank St. Patrick for his good deeds by creating the holiday in his honor, the holiday known as St. Patrick's Day. Some people commonly celebrate this day by wearing green and shamrocks, as well as holding parades and festivals. There are also formal gatherings such as banquets and dances, although these were more common in the past. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Teacher for a Day is coming up on March 27th. Students who win a raffle will follow a teacher or the principals throughout the day. Tickets for the raffles will go on sale starting Monday, March 18th. They will cost $1 each or purchase six for $5. Give it a try. This is your chance to walk in the shoes of one of your teachers. And now here's Edward with another strange history fact. Welcome to the eighth episode of Strange History Facts. I'm your host, Edward, and I will tell you a strange fact in history. Today's strange fact is that there was a novel from 1898 that was like the Titanic sinking. A man named Morgan Robertson wrote a novel about an unsinkable ship called the Titan that hits an iceberg in the North Atlantic during April, which causes a huge loss of life due to a lack of lifeboats. Any similarities? Yet, there was also some differences. In the story, the captain survives, but in the real sinking, Captain Smith of the Titanic dies. It also says the Titan hit another ship and sank it, yet the Titanic did not. But its sister ship, the Olympic, hit a German sub and sank it. The last difference was that in this story, the hero and the girl survive on an iceberg, but in the Titanic sinking, that never happened. There is also an explanation why Morgan Robertson made this story. Morgan Robertson liked boats, and ships were getting huge, while lifeboats were being limited. Thus, he created a story about a big ship sinking with barely any live boats for the people called Utility. Thanks, Eddie. That's all for now. Thanks for watching the AMS TV News. 
Have a great week.